I'm a buyer. I'm looking in Willoughby or Atalman at the moment. What are mm -hmm. the opportunities for, for buyers that, that you're seeing? Geez, right at the moment, I, I think the market, you know, from what I can see, has come off somewhere between 10 to 12 percent. So it's, you know, it's pretty traumatic at the moment for people selling um, where their mate down the road um, got three million bucks for their asset. And now I'm telling uh, this mum and dad who have got a better home that the asset's only worth somewhere between 2.7 to 2.8. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's hard a conversation to have for someone. Um, but, you know, on the other end, you know, in 12 months' time, if the market keeps going the way it is, I'll be having the same conversation with mum and dad to say your house is only worth 2.5 now. Mm. So if you're looking at selling, now's the time to do it. As a buyer coming into the marketplace, well then, if I have all the tools and the case studies and, and the stats to show you as a buyer that now's the time to buy in the area, this is good buying at this number. Because if you were trying to buy six months ago, which you were looking to buy six months ago, yep. I would have told you that property was somewhere over three million. And now you can buy the same asset for 2.8. That mum and dad will now sell the house at 2.8, move on to the next part of their journey, yep. and still buy and sell in the same market. Everyone's okay. So I'm, I'm trying to educate people at the moment based on the changeover. Okay. Um, and if you, if you work on the changeover, it's actually not too bad. Um, but if, you, if you're not working on the changeover price, then you get fixated on this is what I really need for my asset when I'm selling it. I see. The buyer's not going to pay it. Yep. You as a buyer, you're going to be bloody smart. Yeah. You know, you've been shopping for six months. You know what's transacted in the last six months. Yep. You just, you're savvy with the prices. You're not going to go ad hoc and just try and buy the next best thing that comes up. Yeah, sure. So it's it's the education that the vendors are actually, um, the trap that they're falling into at the moment. Yep. Uh, where I, I think really at the end of the day for me, it's like, well, if I can educate mum and dad that they're not really selling for less, Yep. They're actually meeting the market. The competition in the marketplace will potentially pay them a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But if they don't have their competition, they're, they're definitely going to sell for less. Yeah, sure.